What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, everyday carry for everyday guy, Olight's new Valkyrie Turbo is what we're going to be talking about today. Before we talk about that, hoodies, you guys want to do these and here they are. They're on my website www.edcfortheedg.co.za. Um, the charcoal one which I'm wearing now has the logo in black on the chest and on the sleeve. And then the black one which you see in this video has um, the logo... On the chest and on the sleeve in silver and it's got the it's this really plush material i find myself like doing this just to like rub my cheek against it okay so olight's valkyrie turbo so where this differs from other weapon lights is that this is a lip a laser excited phosphor what a laser excited phosphor does differently to something like your x300 is your x300 is an led and that led presents a beam which is then focused or diffused a laser-sided phosphor is a laser, which is then focused or diffused, and it's more often diffused. However, you can only diffuse it so much, right? So what you end up getting is something that is relatively low lumen, but extremely high candela. For example, the Valkyrie Turbo has 250 lumens, but it has 70,000 candela. The X300 has 1,000 lumens, but around 15,000 candela, and you'll see the difference later on in the beam shots. Now, first and foremost, guys, there's no point in having a weapon mounted light if you can't carry it. The Valkyrie Turbo shares a relatively similar footprint to the Olight PL Pro, okay? So if I put the PL Pro on my firearm, guys, firearm's empty and safe on what has been checked. It does fit, obviously, Southwest Holster's holster for the Olight PL Pro. Then, if I put this, um, the Valkyrie Turbo on my firearm, it also fits it. There's a bit more space over here, but you still can't get, like, your finger in there. I can't, like, re oh, I can't reach the trigger. So, if you do have a PL Pro holster from Southwest Holsters, I can only talk about Southwest Holsters, I can't talk about other guys, but from Southwest Holsters, if you have a PL Pro holster, it will fit the Valkyrie Turbo. That's very, very important. Next is functionality. So when I run my functionality drill, I tend to run one reload ones, or just drawing the, the firearm from the holster, presenting and shooting, and just seeing how much of my draw stroke has to be adjusted for the weapon light. And with OLEDs, I think of all the button holsters, uh, um, button weapon mounted lights, I like the Olight buttons the most, which is weird. I think the toggles, like the toggle on my X300, right, is the best way to go. I prefer toggles to buttons. Uh, but the Olight full-size weapon light buttons, I do find them to be really impressive. The mini weapon lights, I hate them. I, they, they're spongy and, and not clicky and not tactile. It's a long story. And I've said it in many reviews, but the full-size weapon light buttons, like your Valkyrie Turbo or your Balder Pro R or your PL Pros, have really, really nice, clicky, tactile buttons, which I really, really appreciate. And coming out of the holster, um, it's not really that much of an adjustment in my draw stroke to activate the light coming out of the holster. So... In terms of, of carryability and functionality, I'm quite happy um, and quite impressed with the fact that Olight had the foresight to go with a footprint similar to their previous lights so that you could uh, carry it without, without having to ban your holster or thereby ensuring that holsters are readily available for it. Now, let's talk about beam shots and here's where things go a bit weird. So, as you can see, the Valkyrie Turbo has an incredibly focused beam, right? We're talking, this is at range of, this is 10 meters that you're seeing right now. And the beam is incredibly focused. It pretty much, at this distance, only lights up what you are aiming at. Now, if you look at the X300, you notice the beam is different, but is way more flood. The hot spot is, is way less than on the Valkyrie Turbo, but it's way more flood, which which for me makes more sense, okay? At the end of the day, the purpose of a, a weapon light on my firearm is to provide me with visual data. Now, I understand that the Valkyrie Turbo is not going to, sorry, is going to be able to reach out further 
than the X300. What do I mean by that? This, the Valkyrie Turbo has a beam distance of 530 meters, but that's far beyond um, the acceptable shooting distance for a pistol. So you've got to, I mean, you've got to manage that, right? And you've got to understand coming into this that you're getting a weapon light that has an incredibly focused beam. Like, I can't even shine this into the lens of my camera because Canon says that this could affect my senses, my Canon, sen my Canon lenses senses. So, 70,000 Candela, yeah, um, that in your face will completely destroy your visual horizon. Even those only 200 lumens, you will not be able to see. So, it's got that power of control, but... If you're going to go for this, you need to go for this under the knowledge or with the knowledge you are getting an incredibly focused beam that is going to provide you with a lot of data at what it's pointing at, but that is it. Some people want all the candela, some people want all the lumen. If you want all the candela, this is your light, okay? I don't think there, I don't think there is a weapon light on the market that is anywhere near to the 70,000 Candela. I know Modlite do something, but we don't get Modlite here in South Africa. So if you want a super high Candela weapon light, the Olight Valkyrie Turbo is pretty much the only light for you. In terms of survivability, I think Olight are getting better and better, right? I put, a, I put quite a lot of rounds through this and I didn't get so much as a flicker. Um, and Olight are going to eventually get there to where their lights are really 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 survivable if they are not there already i have all the o lights i have stream lights i have shore fires i have um phoenix lights i've never had an o light fail on me although i will be honest i feel like the full sized o lights are more survivable than the compact o lights i don't like that rail on the the balder s's and things like that i prefer one solid unit okay so Specs, max lumen is 250, max beam distance is 530 meters. It comes with two CR123A batteries, which takes me to what you're going to get in the box. So you get your standard Olight box. You obviously get your Valkyrie Turbo. Now, guys, the Valkyrie Turbo is not rechargeable. Okay, so you're using standard CR123A batteries. It's very important to note. Um, you're going to get your instruction manual, you're going to get an allen wrench and some screws. As always, press and hold is momentary on and click is constant on. Guys, final thoughts on the OLED Valkyrie Turbo. As a design concept, it does exactly what it says it's going to do. If this is something you're looking for and you go for this, you're going to get what you pay for, right? It really is an extremely focused beam that can handle pistol recoil. They are also readily available for it. And um, if it's what you're looking for, I don't think there's anything else locally in South Africa that can match this on the South African market. If you are looking for a standard weapon mounted light, this is not going to be the light for you. Okay, this is a very, very niche market of people who want super high candela weapon mounted lights personally for me uh, i'm obviously going to stick with my x300 um, i still like of all the o lights i'm quite a big fan of the balder pro r i think this is a, a a winner i was very happy with this light but like i say if you want something that is a dedicated long thrower or a super focused beam on your on your pistol that you can maybe put on your rifle at the later stage. The OLED Valkyrie Turbo in South Africa is pretty much the only thing you can look at. Guys, if you are interested, OLED start their sale tomorrow. I'll make another video tomorrow talking about their sale. I've got like, I've got an affiliate link, but we'll cross that bridge tomorrow where you can get this guy on discount. Um, so if you do like these kind of videos, please consider subscribing to this channel. I'm making EDC gear related review every single week. Guys, I'll probably see you tomorrow for a vlog opening up some EDC mail and then we'll talk about Olight sale and all those things. That is it. Have a good week. Be safe. Train hard. Cheers. God bless.